Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me today on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and with Chinese New Year just days away, today's book is called The Runaway Rice Cake. Did you know that it's considered good luck to eat sticky rice cakes during Chinese New Year? These symbolize increasing prosperity through the years. Today's book has been written by Ying Chang Compostine with illustrations by Tung Wai Chao. It all happened one Chinese New Year Eve. The Chang family was preparing for the celebration. Mama Chang lit the incense as Papa Chang and their three sons, Ming, Kong, and Da, gathered around. Mama handed the incense to Ming, the eldest boy, and he offered it to the picture of the kitchen god. Da, the youngest, smeared honey on the kitchen god's lips so he would say good things about the Changs to the emperor of heaven. Ask him for a big feast, Da. I am so hungry, said Kong, the middle boy. No, said Da, you shouldn't ask for things from the emperor of heaven. He decides who will be rewarded. Kong shrugged, then helped Papa light the picture so it would fly up to heaven. Next, it was time to make the Niang Gao, the New Year's rice cake. Mama opened the flour jar. We only have enough rice flour to make one Nian Gao this year, she said sadly. Last fall's drought had made food scarce for the Changs and their neighbors. Well, I'm sure it will be your sweetest one yet, said Da. I can't wait. The whole family pitched in to cook the rice cake. While it steamed, they took turns peeking to see if it was done. The smell makes me so hungry, said Kong. I wish we could have a big feast before we eat the Nian Gao. Me too, agreed Ming. Ay yo, exclaimed Papa. We're all hungry, but this Nian Gao is all we have. Let's enjoy it, said Mama. Perhaps it will bring us better luck for the new year. Finally, Mama took the rice cake out of the steamer. Can we cut it up now, Ming asked hungrily. Yes, said Mama, but as she reached for a knife, something incredible happened. The rice cake came alive. It cried, Ayo, I don't think so, and popped out of the pan. It rolled past the stunned Chang family, out of the kitchen and out of their tiny home. The Changs ran outside shouting, Stop, you Niang Gao! It rolled past the chicks in the courtyard. They tried to peck at it, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It cried, Ayo, away chicks go. It skidded by a pig. He tried to bite it, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It cried, Ayo, pigs too slow. It spun through the village market. A woman tried to grab it, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It cried, I yo, away I go. It tumbled over to the village docks. A fisherman tried to trip it, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It cried, I yo, water down below. The Changs chased the Niang Gao through the village, shouting all the way. It jumped past some lion dancers. They tried to step on it, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It cried, Ayo, watch your toes. Ming tried to net the Niang Gao. Kong tried to pin it with his chopsticks, but the runaway rice cake was too fast. It spun up a steep side street crying, Ayo, up I go. Then, whoa, the Niang Gao collided with an old woman. Mama Chang quickly scooped the rice cake into her dish. Da held it down with his little hands. The Niang Gao cried, Ayo, let me go. Da said, Chase you so to let you go? No, no, no. Are you all right, grandmother? asked Mama Chang. Ayo, I think so, said the old woman. What happened? Something bumped into me? It was our Niang Gao, said Da. It jumped out of the pan and rolled out of our house. Ayo, 
Is that so? said the old woman. Grandmother, asked Mama Chang, is there anything we can do for you? You are very kind. I'm not hurt. It's just that I haven't had much to eat for a couple of days. Then you should have some of our Nian Gao, Da offered. But there's hardly enough for us, protested Kong. Ming scowled at Da and poked him with an elbow. Mama looked at Papa and he nodded. Let us do as Da says. We'll share the Nian Gao. On hearing this, the rice cake stopped trying to escape. It said softly, Grandmother needs me so. To her, I will go. Then it slowly closed its eyes. The old woman trembled as Mama Chang put the dish in her lap. Da carefully let go of the rice cake. The woman took a tiny nibble. Oh, this is wonderful. I haven't had Nian Gao this good since my childhood. She took a slightly bigger bite. It's so soft and sweet. Then another even bigger bite. The raisins are so plump. A huge mouthful. The nuts are so crunchy. And another. Thank you for sharing it with me. Before long, the old woman had gobbled up the whole cake. After the old woman finished, she stood up and handed the empty dish to Mama Chang. Realizing what she had done, she turned bright red and bowed her head. I am so sorry. I ate all of your Nian Gao. It was so delicious. I couldn't help myself. Thank you all. Min groaned. Kong moaned. You are very welcome, Papa Chang said as she disappeared into the night. I hope she feels better now, said Da. She may feel better, but what about me, said Kong. Now we have nothing to eat, cried Ming. Let's go home, said Mama. I'll cook some rice. But she knew perfectly well that the rice jar was nearly empty. I'm cold and hungry, said Ming. Mama took off her jacket and put it on Ming. I'm tired and hungry, said Kong. Papa carried Kong on his back. When they were close to home, Da said, Mmm, I smell something delicious. The woman from the vegetable market was waiting outside their house. I heard what happened with your Nian Gao. With the bad crops last year, we don't have much either. Here are baked buns. Thank you. The Changs bowed to her. Other people began to arrive. We all heard about what happened. Here are a few dumplings. I brought a fish to share, said the fisherman, and I brought some oranges, said another neighbor. Come in, come in, invited Papa. Everyone filed into the Chang house and placed bowls and baskets on the table. Papa bowed to his neighbors. Your generosity has touched our hearts. Please join us for the New Year's celebration. No, 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 said the fisherman. We brought this food for your family. Please enjoy it. Papa and Mama gestured to the boys. You children should eat first, said Mama. Ming looked at his tired, starving brothers and then at the small bowls on the table. Well, I'm not really that hungry. Kong and Da can have my share. Kong looked at the skinny little Da and the generous neighbors. I'm not that hungry either. Da can have my share. Thank you, brother, said Da, but I'm sure there's enough for it. When he lifted the cover off a bowl, something incredible happened. The bowl grew larger and filled itself with dumplings. Before everyone's eyes, more bowls and baskets appear on the table, all overflowing with food. The three boys began to snatch up lids. Oh, yelled Ming. Nian Gao. Oh, cried Kong. Nian Gao and noodles. Oh, exclaimed Da. Nian Gao and noodles and fish and chicken and vegetables and rice. Mama said, I have never seen so much food. Please, please, everybody eat. With whoops of joy, everyone dashed to the table. They ate and ate. They ate until they thought they were going to explode like firecrackers. 
Then they ate a little bit more. When Da was too full to take another bite, he turned to his mother. Do you think the old woman could have been sent by you? Suddenly they heard a bang, then a whole series of bangs. It's coming from the courtyard, cried Papa. Everyone ran to the door. Outside, lion dancers leaped all about. Firecrackers cackled and banged. Cymbals crashed. Drums boomed. Never had the Changs heard such a racket. Never had they seen such a spectacle. The lion dancers brought a bundle to each of the three Chang boys. On top of each bundle was a red bag embossed with a golden dragon. Untied each bundle was a new red silk outfit. It was the happiest New Year's Eve the Changs had ever celebrated. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. If you'd like a copy of today's book, please see below in the description for the link. At the end of this story, there are also two surprises, two Chinese recipes in case you want to try some special food for Chinese New Year. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow for another story. Bye for now.